we have been taking up uh, quadrilaterals and had started discussing with special quadrilaterals in the last session and then now we continue with more on the special quadrilaterals and this time we'll be concentrating more on the rhombus when we are talking about rhombus the kind of uh, we'll first discuss quickly about the um, properties of a rhombus if a rhombus all sides equal uh, opposite angles of the rhombus will be equal and the next important part which we need to know here in um, is the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles because rest of the properties I think we know in the in a, in a very general sense the one which we need to remember here it is the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles we now take a few questions on rhombus first question I write here is one of the diagonals of a rhombus by is equal to sorry rhombus sorry sorry is equal to one of its sides find the angles of the rhombus let me oh i, I made a spell mistake here for the diagonals kindly ignore it please let me draw a diagonal sorry a rhombus i hope it looks like one they are not accurate figures when i say that it's uh, not accurate means it might not be equal but still i'm using it to be a rhombus thereby informing that a b b c c d and d a are equal sides now I join the diagonals as well it says okay as it informs that one of the diagonals is equal to one of its sides now ABCD is the rhombus such that BD I am taking BD let BD be oh sorry BD be equal to one of its sides that means ab is equal to bc equals cd equals to da as well as bd right therefore what happens is now we have informed that a this bd is equal to ad and ab thereby making this a b d an equilateral triangle so a b d becomes an equilateral equilateral triangle right and on the other hand b c d also becomes an equilateral triangle thereby making this angle c and angle a to be 60 degree each angle of an equilateral is uh, 60 degree so angle a and angle c are 60 degrees now we are left with angle b and angle d now angle a and angle b they are adjacent sorry supplementary angles so thereby making angle B as 180 minus 60 that is 120 similarly C and D are supplementary thereby making angle sorry, angle D becomes 180 minus 60 and that makes it 120 degrees hope you followed so I move on to the next question again 
This is one of the common questions you come across in uh, under um, rhombus. The diagonals of a rhombus are 6 cm and 8 cm. Find the length of a side of the rhombus. The diagonals are given to be 6 and 8. Let me draw a rhombus quickly here, a small one. Okay, let me draw the diagonals as well. I need to name them. I name them as this being A, this is B, this is C and this being D. This is the, you know, rhombus which I have drawn with A, C, B, D, the diagonals. Let me name, uh, let me mark them. I'll mark A, C is long one. So, A, C as 8 centimeter, B, D I am marking to be 6 centimeter. We have to find A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. Now we have already learned that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degree. That means A, O is equal to C, O and B, O is equal to D, U, right? Now if A, C is 8, then A, O, sorry, A, O should be 4 centimeter. On the other hand, CO should also be 4 cm. On the diagonal BD, similarly, DO will be 3 cm and BO will also be 3 cm, right? Now, each of these are small right triangles. If I mark, suppose this one. This is a right triangle. Again, I go, uh, you know, I would like to mention that um, uh, rule which says uh, the diagonal bisect at 90 degree. That means this angle, they are all 90 degrees. So, AOB is a right triangle. Now, in right triangle, let us apply the Pythagoras theorem. So, I can write in triangle AOB. Hmm, if I apply the Pythagoras theorem, it will be like AB square can is be equal to AO square plus BO square. Right? So AB square, AO square is 4 square. B O square is 3 square that makes it 16 plus 9 so that's 25 right now A B will be root over of 25 because that was A B square so root over of 25 is 5 centimeter as because it is a rhombus all sides will be 5 centimeter each right again we I mean, we move on to a new, um, uh, you know, special quadrilateral that will be square. The next we I am taking up is a square. And also, simultaneously, I can take up rectangle as well. I hope you remember the, what's um, uh, say, the properties. What about uh, the square? All sides are equal, each angle 90 degree, the diagonals are of equal length. See the basic two we know, but here I need to write down that the diagonals are equal in a square. And also they bisect, the diagonals that are equal and I can simultaneously write here. And they bisect each other at right angles. This is about a square. In a rectangle, the bi the diagonals of a rectangles are equal, right? 
but they need not be perpendicular to one another in here in the square they are they bisect each other at right angles oh i made a square mistake here for yeah, and just ignore it please okay the diagonals of the rectangle are not perpendicular to one another this is a kind of difference we can remember with okay let's take a question i'll also be taking up rectangle so i write it down though what question do i say right here it says a b c d is a rectangle i'll draw it with angle b a c marked as 32 degrees we have to determine angle angle d b c let me draw that it will be helpful i think for us this is suppose the rectangle i name them as a b c d <coughs> sorry angle b a c so i need to join a c to find b a c this angle is marked as 32 this is given to be 32 and we have to find d b c so i also need to join the other diagonal i have to find this one right okay i need to mark this point of intersection that is o the diagonals a c and b d are equal and they are intersecting at the point o now look at the triangle o a b i will highlight it in triangle o a b the diagonals are equal so the point of intersection are like oa and ob will also be equal i will write it down here in triangle oab ao is equal to like bo right what else we can say angle oab will be equal to angle OBA. Angle OAB will be equal to angle OBA. Because these two are equal and these two are equal as because they are parallel lines they are because of the parallel lines these two angles are also equal angle o a b o oh, we don't need uh, that long an explanation you know o a is equal to o b so angle opposite to these equal sides will be equal so these two are also equal now angle uh this is i'm just trying to find as because angle o a b so angle b a c will be equal to i i mean if i write o a b and is equivalent to writing b a c is equal to d b a the angle which we are marking the same but the names are different so if b a c is 32 so d b a will also be 32 now d b a this is 32 i'll mark it here right now in a rectangle all the angles are 90 degrees right so angle b is whole that means angle whole b is 90 degrees right so it is made by angle oh sorry i'll write it as d b a it is d 
B A plus angle D B C that is equal to 90 degree. Out of this angle D B A is 32 degrees plus angle D B C equals 90 degrees. So angle D B C angle D B C will be 90 minus 32 degrees and that's giving me 68 degrees. So our question and finding for D B C we get 68 degrees. Hope you followed this time we'll be taking up more such questions in the next few sessions. Thank you.